Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Pickles. Thank you for joining me today. If it's your first time, welcome to the channel. If it's not your first time, welcome back. Today we're playing Prison Architect. We have just completed the uh, first part of the Criminally Insane Ward. Um, we have two maximum security cell blocks. We f just got done with uh, all of the amenities for maximum security, visitation, our medium security section is doing okay, but they're kind of missing out, not getting a lot of love. I'm thinking about either doing a classroom in today's episode or maybe just some minor uh, fixes, like maybe some more solitary, because we do still have quite a few people awaiting to get to solitary. Okay, um, we have four infected prisoners we dealt with that last episode which is very good we should be able to in the morning um just open the prison up back like normal all of the sick prisoners should be good i'm going to just check real quick to make sure that okay this guy's treated so he was sick but he's treated you treated just looking for sick you're sick okay he was saying he's not sick I got him yeah yeah he's... I did check him I, I'm, I'm going crazy I don't want to miss anyone because if this virus spreads again and I have to re-put them into lockdown they're not going to be happy triggered i okay he's triggered i thought he was sick i was like nope all right that does appear to be everyone we'll make sure that that goes all the way down to zero by the end of today we got about forty thousand dollars to work with let's check out our grants how we're doing uh we need an armory and a kennel for this one inmate nutrition we should be Yep, we're, we're feeding them once a day. Low. Make sure it's low. The food is at the right. Yep, both low. Um, let's... Jobs. Yeah, there's not a whole lot for my workmen to do. I really don't know what... Uh, let's... Let's... Let's start off by getting some construction on these two very important buildings and this building yes this building now this is going to cause some problems so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fence lay a fence down right here just to kind of contain this for the time being. That way so we can, can construct, that way so we can remove this fence safely and then construct the uh, kennel. So they can get started on that. It is currently nighttime and everyone is furious, which is prison. So, I mean, it's a good thing. Um, we don't want them to be too happy, but they're also very, they are very angry. Okay. Oh, it tells me what cells are gang. That's helpful. Um, I'm just kind of... We don't have a ton of stuff. I'm trying to see why are these... Why are they highlighted? What am I missing? I want to get rid of those stars. I think I've seen everything. It's probably the signs. Yeah, it's the signs. I don't feel like scrolling over every sign. See... Six of you are in here. And two of you are up here. Why can't it just be four and four? Why do you have to make my OCD crazy? This guy is literally starving. That is another problem. We have we have tons of um, criminally insane cells, but no solitary. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to end your punishment and forgive you two so you can just go live in 
happy, peace, and harmony in the currently built insane. And, and, and eventually we'll be able to add more cells and solitary. But for now, this will have to do. Maybe we could add some up here. That That's, uh, I usually change these two and these two cells to, uh, insane. And then these two and these two. So, eight, once we have eight, that, that'll be all. It's a fun DLC. Keep in mind, if you're just getting the game, uh, you will not have the Criminally Insane DLC. It is, uh, an additional add-on feature. I thought it looked like a really cool, uh add on to the game so I definitely added it. Can you escort him to this pad itself please? Because we have three empty and I would like them to get in. Oh! I'm a idiot. There's no way to get in. So this is six wide. Okay. Let's go with a nice armored door. Perfect. Let's get a nice armor door in, and then this is going to be our... I want you to leave. Go away. Can I not delete objects? Go away. Okay. The plan is acting kind of weird. Okay, as soon as we get that in... They, let's, let's, let's take a minute to kind of see, why are you all so angry? They are not happy. We got Thomas. Thomas is agitated. Uh, Warren is actually, he's calm, which is crazy. They all seem to be good doing, actually not terribly bad. There are no kitchens capable logistics food distribution. Is our kitchen not big enough? Our kitchen's not big enough. Um our kitchen is too small. Okay, that pro wait, what? That problem just resolved itself. Okay. Uh, let's check. We got some fresh meat coming in. Oh, we have a, a prisoner. I didn't realize we were just getting one. Um, this, okay. The outer fence is perfectly in place, so now we can take the time and just demolish the inner fence. Get on that. This room can no longer be storage. Because it's not needed. A gymnasium. That is definitely new. We'll look into that later down the line. Perfect. Now I'm going to leave the... Uh, classroom that will eventually be here. I'm going to leave this as an empty plot of land. And I'm going to select this to be the kennel with a nice secure door. Well, solitary door. Uh, let's go here. And that way so no one can break into the very important rooms. He did not get out. Oh. My, my commentary in this episode is act, is impressive. Is this not assigned? These are not assigned maximum security. This is maximum security. What happened? No. Medium. These are medium. Yes.
There we go. There we go. Okay. Really, I mean, stunning commentary. Uh, how is... I'm pretty sure that's not where you're supposed to sit, buddy. Oh, but you're gonna get released, which means I get $3,000, which makes me very happy. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, kennel. I think that's what the name of the room is. Uh, install. If we can find... Dog crate. Oh my gosh. I never got dogs. Well, that's my bad. We're going to have to look into that now. We have... I forgot totally about bureaucracy. Hawk Hartman was doing the, the magical uh, work here. Getting stuff done. But I, I've gone stock with my chief. We still need guard towers, taser rollouts, and remote access. What is going on? Why are you all... So salty. Seems like all the gang members are, as soon as they're getting out, they're causing problems. Which is not what we want. I need, now is a great time. I'm going to take some time, get rid of these benches. And I really need to find something to do with this middle part of the area. Okay, what we can do is begin work on two guards here, and we can begin work on the armory. Put wall there, wall there, let's get a door. I keep forgetting that they've switched the door to this cage. I'm going to get a solitary door, that way so in the event, you're probably like, well why is he getting the most expensive door? In the event of a riot, as if the prisoners try to break into the armory, they have to break the first solitary door into the security room and then break another solitary door into the armory. You're probably like, well, all of your um, insane prisoners can just walk through one door. And you're right, that is definitely a flaw in the uh, system that I don't care about. <laughs> so, if they if they try to escape, they only have one door, but it is a very strong door. So, that works well. Let's escort him, please, to his cell before he starves. Perfect. Let's... Let's also uh, pause the game and get a security desk, a office chair, a filing cabinet, and that will complete our security room or the requirements for the security room. There we go. It's not, it's gonna need more walls. And then we can also get our armory in. We, now we'll be able to have armed guards, which will definitely help the prison. Let's get our blockers. And let's get, put the weapons rack right here. The small tape, it needs a small table, right? Small table. Here. And guard locker here. And then we will also add two right, two, three right there. So we can currently have four guards and we have some space to add more. Uh, as the prison grows, this is definitely going to, we're out, going to outgrow this armory. But for the time being, it should be a perfect size for what we need. And just like that, we have much better security in the prison. Let's add some lights to make these rooms a little bit brighter. 
I'm gonna pause the game because I am hearing some s noises. Looks like we have a prisoner who's trying to escape. He, this gang, gang member tr is attempting to escape by breaking through to the armory. And that is no bueno. Staff. Staff only. Uh, this can be criminal insane. Cool. Nice. Wow, this is actually coming out pretty good in this episode. Getting a lot of work done. Once we have the armory and we can get the armed guards, that's really when we take control of the prison. Why are you... Dude, you're a snitch. I'm pr trying to protect you. Why? Just... What's happening here? Why are they attacking me? Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Is anyone gonna get him? No? Okay. He can just move, I guess. Is OJ a snitch? Are you- is he seriously just gonna leave? Thank you. Oh. These doors should probably not be locked open. Maybe. We'll see. We might have to keep these closed in the future. Why? I know you're a snitch. Why are you out in this yard? You're protected custody. You should not be allowed in the maximum security yard. You know what I'll do? I'll go to policy. Uh, medium security or protected custody. I can't. I can't shut off there. I, I literally can't. I can't shut off his yard. I was going to not allow him in the yard, but you know. Whatever. Alright. Well, that went well. This looks terrible with the dirt underneath. I'm gonna get some paving stones. Pop them down here. Still gotta dress these rooms, but we really don't need too much, uh, too many pretty things right now. We just need functionality. Oh my gosh. I did not realize how many medium security prisoners are currently being housed in this yard. We definitely need to give, we need to convert this area into just somewhere where they can hang out. Like, what would they want to do? You know what I'll do? Okay. Let's convert all of this flooring into paving stones. And then we can just add a bunch of workout equipment. And things that we think would make the prisoners happier. Because there are a lot of prisoners. And we still have multiple cell blocks. We still have three more cell blocks to add. And then we can even come f maybe like a few more cells down. There's still a lot of room for growth here. So how are we doing on dogs? 85% complete. That is helpful. Uh, this yard is also kind of sad. We could use some some sprucing up here. Let's make these two concrete floors. Let's, uh... Maybe make, like, a little, uh... Pathway. Okay, that's kind of cool. Just some, uh, some path, like a little path around their yard. It's not a big yard, but, uh, if their cell block is kind of small, so I really don't think they need that big of a yard. Like, guys really don't. I will add, however, things to your yard. Um, let's go 
two dumbbells. Weight bench, weight bench, weight bench, weight bench. There you go, tons of workout equipment. So you can get buff in prison, which is probably a bad idea. The security, the secure doors are still broken. If this is your first time watching one of these episodes, uh, these doors, which have food slots, uh, the game for some reason is broken and thinks that the doors are all located right here, which is not the case, but it causes all the guards to bring food to the middle of nowhere. I'm thinking about maybe adding a path so they can get quickly out here since we have running low on guards. We have 130 prisoners, so maybe we should get five more guards. Just to help, 50 is a nice round number. We have 50 guards. They can take care of the prison. Patrol, do that kind of thing. Let's get a guard stationed here. There should be guards in the hallways, keeping it secure. Protecting the staff at all times. I just want the prison to be, no matter what, safe. If the prison's safe, then that that's a good sign. He's trying to escape by climbing the fence. Please go get him and knock him down. Go. Jerk, trying to get out my fences. This guy, this guy was in the infirmary. They're starving. Can we get them food, please? Perfect. Tons of food. Alrighty. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you uh, did enjoy, maybe uh, drop a like. Push the subscribe button if you want to see some more content. And uh, hope you have an awesome day.